To create a sprite that actually follows the camera at all times, all you have to do is actually use a material function call, this one here specifically. Go ahead and use the sprite and make sure that it's connected to the world position offset. To get one of these, simply right click, type in the word call, and we're looking for a material function call. And then over here, we wanna go ahead and make sure that we're looking for that specific material function sprite. So we'll click here and inside of a search, we'll look for sprite. Go ahead and choose this first one that you see. And here we have this specific node. Let's go ahead and delete that because there is something I do wanna point out. And that is if this node is currently set under its shading model to default lit, you're gonna get undesired results if it's facing away from the light source. To address this, come back in here, make sure that this node is selected and change this from default lit to unlit right here. And note that we need to actually set this up through the emissive, not through the base color when doing this. Go ahead and save that. Now, when we come back in here, we'll see that we don't have that issue. The other thing that we can do too, is we can actually turn this into a material instance and then change its actual size, like so. So if we pull this off to the side and take a look at this, I can actually change this on the fly really easily. Now, one final note is that this does actually work best when doing this on a plane. So if you do it on other shapes, it will work, but this is definitely gonna give you the best results. And as a parting gift, here is the material in its entirety.